Hello YouTube and modelers alike, it is me, Iron Bloke, and today we're going to have a quick look at a 3D printed wheel set I have done for Hobby Boss T35s. So what you can see in front of you is the 3D model of the wheels that I produced for late T35s. These wheels were not just used on late T35s, they were also used on other earlier models that were sent back to the factory to be repaired and upgraded. So this is the tank I have found from Hobby Boss 83841, 83842, 83843 and 83844. The wheels are most useful in 83844 as of the three tanks produced which you can make in that kit, two of them use these wheels. So two thirds of the tanks use these wheels. What's going to follow is a short animation using the 3D modeling engine I used to show you how you put them together and sort of what they look like. Now what will follow is some photographs of the prototype that I have made and received in the post. So this prototype didn't have a pig moulded onto it so I had to use a piece of sprue. But as you can see the actual model is perfectly sized with the wheel that you get in the kit. Unlike the spider type flywheel in the kit, this is a solid flywheel. To add these 3D printed wheels onto your kit you do not need to do what you are seeing on screen because this is the prototype. However, you do need to make sure that when you make the flywheel, there is a big enough gap for the teeth of the track to go in between the wheels. This is fairly straightforward as you can align them with the return roller wheels if you put them on first. Because the wheel is the same sized wheel as the one that you get in the kit, applying the track is straightforward and easy. Normal modelling glue works with the kind of plastic used for 3D printing. These photos show you the difference between the solid flywheel that you can buy and the one that comes in the kit. You can see that it does change the look of the tank. High quality printing means that the detail on the wheels is not missed. You can see the metal rim clearly. The wheels are available in three different kinds of plastic, a white flexible but strong plastic, a black flexible but strong plastic, and a frosted see-through plastic for that added detail and quality. Go on to the link below to check out the wheels. Why don't you purchase them yourself and see what they look like on your kit. This item is in a beta stage and will be subject to change on feedback, so feel free to leave some feedback for me. Why don't you stick around the channel and check out some of the other modelling stuff I have done. In the not too distant future I will be finishing off this kit that you can see on screen which I have done a video on. Here is a sneak preview. So the first job was removing this extra bar of supporting bracket armour thingy here. I used the scalpel, removed it, sanded it a bit flush. These photos were taken before I completely got rid of all residue but you can see that it does actually quite change the look of the tank. Next I removed the front supporting armour which was for later tanks, these tanks didn't have them. These are six antenna stumped uh, brackets which I used the feet of to attach to the tank. You can see I used a piece of white plastic card to simulate the uh, missing antenna bracket stump thingies for the six turret armed tanks. If you look at the historical photos you'll see that there is actually no bracket for the last two arms on the turret if it had six stumps, which is quite unusual. Next I assembled the KT-28 main armament. 
I am quite bizarre when I build kits. I never build it in order that the plans show. And to be honest with you, I'm now at the point with T35s that I don't actually need to follow the instructions. I can basically do it from memory and photographs. So here you can see me installing the gun and then I put on the turret. 